it going on YouTube? Um, so I haven't made a video in about a week. I've been pretty busy. But um, basically, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my um, videos I posted here. I was tracking satellites. But I went in to take my technician's test Saturday, and I did receive my license. My um, call sign is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. Um, I do plan on getting a, um, a call sign here soon, but I figured just for you uh, guys like thinking about going and taking the test, I'll kind of uh, tell you how my experience went. Um, this particular test I took in Lexington, um, and basically I went into the, uh, the testing center uh, where they held it, and there's some gentlemen there, um, probably five or six, and uh, one kind of administered the test, and then there was three or four people that graded it. Uh, there wasn't very many people there. There's probably like maybe five, including me. But basically, we got in. Um, we were told to get out our IDs to, you know, make sure we are who we are. And um, we filled out the paperwork. Um, and I did give them a courtesy call beforehand to let them know I would uh, be testing. That's something that you guys should do because sometimes they don't even have people show up. Sometimes they have too many, uh, and they need to know how much supplies to bring. So I um. I went in and filled out the paperwork, um, and then my uh, quest, my test started. It was a little bubble sheet, so I went through and um, completed it, uh, turned it in. About four or five minutes, I knew that um, I had passed. The four or five people that were there at another table, they actually have to swap the paper and grade it. Um, so you you find out that you passed right on the spot, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then after you pass, they handed me a um, little paper that. I think I've got it here. Let's see. Nope, I threw it out. But they handed me a paper um, proving that I did take the test and I did pass just in case there's something that goes wrong with the FCC database. It's good for up to a year. But um, they told me that my call sign would be in the, um, the database probably by Friday. So sure enough, Friday morning there it was. So um, I went to the FCC database um, and searched my last name. Um, there was my call sign. And then a couple days later, I actually got an email to print out my certificate. So you guys can kind of see what that looks like here in the picture, here in the uh, webcam. This is a binder to keep important documents. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Since then, I've actually made my uh, first contact. Um, there's a repeater down here, um, and I just kind of jumped on there guys on there are really cool and welcoming it's actually one of the daughters um, of the guys that was on there was at the testing center with me so she had just got her license too so that was kind of it's kind of unique um, but yeah so far everybody I've talked to has been really friendly I've had a couple trips up to Cincinnati um, and I was able to talk to some people from there with my Baofeng um, I've also been working a lot of satellites I've got this um, order new antenna it's a one fourth wavelength whip antenna. It works really well for the satellites. Um, I've actually made one contact on the satellite. Um, I'm about to go do it out there in probably a couple minutes. Try to make some more. Um, so yeah, it's I mean it's pretty cool. Um, it was really easy. Everything went smooth. And I got my license pretty quick. So you guys need to you know if you haven't got it yet, just go out there and study. I made a uh, tutorial video on how I studied and how I passed it. Um, so you guys go check that out and. Um, here soon there's probably gonna be a lot more satellite videos uh, that's my particular interest right now so um, you guys if you like this video subscribe rate and comment